Hey guys, it's Lex here, and this is a different video I decided to do. Um, just sort of showing my instruments and stuff um, for my songs I composed, and I've not really done it before. I was just thinking, just for something different, I'd just play about and show you guys what I used to make, like uh, like Mr. Smelly's theme, what I used to make that and stuff. I just thought it would be a little bit interesting. So, um, yeah, this is FL Studio. I believe this is version 12 or 11. Let me just check about FL Studio 12 yeah registered to Kevin no um, legit um, but yeah so I've used this for a while and I'm not the, I'm not the biggest fan of this one because of the zoom thing I'm not I think 13's out I've got no idea um, but yeah this is what I've been using for the last while when I upgraded from 11 which I wish I hadn't to be quite honest um, so for most of my my songs I have a bunch of tons of VSTs here but the most popular one I use, it's also the only one that really works now, is the Mini V2. This is by Arturia, and it's a, a VST, a software version of the Mini Moog, uh, which is a popular 80 synth, and it's it's really cool. I mean, it looks badass. I think there's a bit of the yeah, I see that um, and stuff. I've also got a few other ones. I'll talk at them later. But yeah, it's got a bunch of presets. You can tweak it and stuff. But the presets are actually really awesome. So KU 3 OSC. <laughs> Get a lovely 1980s Terminator vibe to it, um, which is awesome. Um, and obviously, there's, there's a lot of different ones. Yeah, I mean, I absolutely love the the sounds. I mean, that's that's everything. Imagine like a horror film, you know, the main characters walking down a hallway and they're not sure, you know. Yeah, let's also get some awesome drums and um, let's go to percussives here. And one of, those, one of the ones I absolutely love, that's my favourite drum in the entire Is this an SDS snare? Yeah, that's just um that's just awesome man. So let's let's clone that. I mean, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Uh what bass did we use for that? Was it soft bass? Am I in the right thing here? I must be. Am I? Shit, I don't know. Um we'll find that. that. Yeah, so let's go to the piano roll. I do. I, I I should probably use MIDI for this and just like control it with the keyboard or a, a USB keyboard, and just um, yeah, it's low. I'm in a D actually. That's dumb. I forgot. That's not going to go. Oh, my moron! Why did I do that? Should have known that was going to happen. Yeah, this doesn't extend. So. Don't. Why is it doing that? The last one I used was two bars. Is this a, oh, because I need to resize the bars. Yeah, FL Studio bullshit with the bar resize thing. 11 used to do it automatically, but you know. I see how that sounds. Yeah, I can't okay, like you know that's going there, so we'll keep that up. Copy. one in there and resize the thing again so we'll make ourselves a nice little horror theme here. So we'll stop that before it gets annoying and gives everyone watching a headache. So um, I, I, we're going to watch a sort of lead here. So I do actually have a Prophet synthesizer, a Prophet one by Arturia, 
but they are actually broken. I, I'll just quickly show you what I'm talking about here. Why is that? Fuck off with that. Um, like, I've got an Oberheim one. So, for example, I've actually got two. OBXD, which um, is a free one. Sounds quite cool. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, and I have the Arturia one here. Now, I did have some some plugins for this, and the presets here have just disappeared. So, I like the presets because you can sort of, it saves you starting from scratch. You are, uh, you're so much better off just getting a preset and tweaking it to, to what you like. So, yeah. Um, that's what we probably have had, but I, I've tried to fix them. Mini V fixed up, and I better the program data and shit like that. And um, you know, I've got a bunch of other ones. As a profit, there's definitely profit V2. Yes, this is see, the old plugin won't come up. Um, shit like that happens. But the profit was a, a legit one. Like uh, a lot of John Carpenter music. If you watched any John Carpenter films, uh, a lot of them, it was like his thing. The profit synth, you know, Stranger Things and stuff. The profit synth was the sort of one used. So let's see if we can get ourselves a pad. Let's go through some of the pads. I don't use the pads often. I really should. That's kind of cool. Let's give that a try, see how that sounds. extend this a little bit in the easiest way I know how which is just to copy and fucking paste everything uh, there are a lot more advanced shit for this I mean like um, there'll be like professional people that studied fucking audio engineering and shit in like college and they'll be watching me going this guy needs a slap um, <laughs> so I'm going to extend those drums a little bit and then stop them there how long is this song in total 50 set one minute is that one minute yep yeah, that's a nice one minute's perfect for what I do here um, yeah, so. Let's see if we can get the timing of this thing right. down but with this what you'll find is sometimes like if I disable that that bass it sounds fine but the bass sounds all off and yeah, not very good that it's a pain in the ass but it's not a big deal I mean you shouldn't have to rely on the pitch wheel you know there are ways of doing it you know uh, octaves and shit but uh, so we got that let's see what next on we can have something a little more aggressive right that'll be a bit of a lead and sort of, you know. Here we go. 
this. this, copy, delete, paste that right to the start there, it gives us more room to work with this other instrument which I'm actually really liking here. So uh, I'm not going to line up the instrument now, I don't want to go on this for too long and run this video too long, so let's just have a start and I'll just play along. I'm not really concentrating too much, but that sound has a really nice, deep sort of, you know, synthetic. Really, really cool. And there's also a variant of it. One of my favourites actually used quite often in my songs is CP Lead 4. This just sounds so full of energy. Uh, really, really cool. to play on this because I'm using my computer keyboard so it's and my uh, fingers getting away and shit but yeah I mean, it just, it's just so fantastic. So if we just change that up here to snare. Change that to a more catchy bass. Extend those drums a little bit.
really awesome sounding. Who keeps talking to me in Facebook? I'm busy. So yeah, I absolutely love that sound. And of course, there's different variants. Completely different things as well. There's, what's this one? Newman, one and two. So that's pretty awesome. Now, one more synth I would like to show is one that actually came with this software. It wasn't a third party one. It actually comes with, uh, it's what Image Lines on one. It's called Harmless. Sort of like a, a modern uh, analog old school 80 synth here. Really, really cool. Um, a lot of great sounds. The bass is one of my favourites, is called Rubber Bandy. And unlike Mini V, it doesn't seem to get affected by the pitch. If I turn it down, it sounds fine. So, I mean, uh, you know, really, really cool bass. Dum, bam, ba, ba, bam. Yeah, just add living here, but it's, it sounds awesome. And of course, one of my favorite leads for this uh, is actually just called 80s Keys. That's that's the actual name of the, uh, the instrument, you know. They just didn't give a shit. 80s Keys. Where is it actually? 80s Keys, FG. It's like Terminator as fuck. It's just adjust the pitch very slightly to 640. <laughs> you can also use it for you know disco see not very good because I'm fucking about my finger there but I've got those drums actually. Let's see if we can hear, hear that going. Right away here. It's just so much fun. Um, really, really nice set. Really, really nice sounds. Uh, there's also a really old school sound here called Neo Retro. Just listen to this. Really, really cool. And of course, there's the variants on it. I 
you can always pitch it down if you want more badass sound. Fuck yeah. Uh, is it Vikings another one as well? Yeah, just a few more good glosses of our sound here. I absolutely loved, was it Shot Step? Is that it? Is that it? Anyway, uh, go ahead and get rid of all this mess here. I'll just start a new project, save us all time if it works. Uh, and I want to show you just a few quick more ones I've got for my video game music chip tune. I use this here. Um, it's called Peach. Peach and Toad, obviously named after the Mario characters. And Toad is like sound effects. <laughs> and Peach is uh, your. And of course, they're named after like different songs, so Blaster, Malf, Crash, Rush, Wily, Doctor Wily. Wily sounds awesome. I got one of my songs here. I don't know. Oh, don't touch my O Savage. I've got that there. Uh, that recent song. <laughs> don't touch my O Savage. <laughs> Perfect name for that particular sound. Now, so you had the sort of video game one there. And where are my these ones? Sound fonts. Is that the ones I'm that's what I'm looking for, isn't it? STR Ensemble. It doesn't have a 64 bit version. Your sounds have been said open it in 32 bit uh, FL Studio. Well I'm not really too fast. Uh, screw that. Um uh, what else have I got here? I had another one. Is it Tyrell? Oh, the this awesome thing here, the Atari, uh, is it VST speak? I used this for Mr. Smelly's song, uh, for his name is, you know. His name is Mr. Smelly. Oh. His name is Mr. Smelly. Yep. See that, you can adjust the pitch there. His name is Mr. Smelly. Perfect. Speed. His name is Mr. Smelly. Mouth, throat, etc. I mean, this is just a. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, it sounds just like the old school Atari. Atari had a synth program back in the day. And uh, this one. Oh, I haven't used this in ages, actually. I, I can't remember this one, actually. I know it had some good. I had some good thingies for it as well. I had some really good. Yeah. Uh, synth toms. Yeah, really, really cool. Um, what else? Just quickly to wrap this up. I also have a Jupiter 8 one, but again, it's, it doesn't have any plug-in, so you just get the generic Jupiter sound, which is still awesome. I love that riff with the two fingers. It just uh, demonstrates synths really well, actually. Um, so like when you're testing headphones, I recommend that you listen to Susudio by Phil Collins because it's like the ultimate song to test your headphones with. Um, I also have a CS81, but again, you can see that doesn't work. Um, I really need to sort my instruments out. Supertron 2.6. Was this the one? Uh, there was one I got. Was this one? That's a really, really good one. Um, has a lot of... Uh, presets and it was the one it was the one I, was, I used was it uh, my popcorn was one and stuff but what it has is if you look here it has a vintager and it actually makes it sound more vintage so here's it at 2012 and at 1960 not the best example actually sound isn't changing too much yeah um where was the one I used Unless the vintager thing is broke, but it shouldn't be. 
and then we end. I think we hit as the last one before this goes too long. The Super Wave P8. This is an awesome, an R3 one. Oh, please tell me the plugins haven't gone again. Yes, got a lot of awesome sounds. <laughs> Also has the dual strings variant here. Awesome fucking sound. Um, it's got some famous ones. Uh, it's called Crafty Lead. Quite cool. Um, it's got the X Files. It's got an X Files preset, which is awesome. And that's why I like presets. Like, presets are for noobs. No presets show you how the things set up for that particular sound, and you can learn from that. So, so it's good. Can't remember how the X Files theme goes. Do do do. Is that it? That's really really creepy. It's on that sound hill there. <laughs> yeah, let's say that's nightmare fuel territory we're going into. Uh, friends. Final countdown. I don't know how to play the song, I don't really care. Um, anything else here? All that needs is a drum there. <laughs> well sorted. Fuck yeah. So that's just a sort of rough idea of the, the sort of tools I occasionally use. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry if it's been running a bit long. Uh, I just thought it'd be a bit interesting because I have been uploading a lot more music and stuff and getting back into it. And uh, and if anyone else is like looking to start music and stuff or, or wants to know what tools to use, uh, software, etc., and um, stuff like that, feel free to ask. Leave a comment below in the comments. Send me a YouTube message and stuff. Um, and I'll hook a brother up. Uh, but yeah, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and if it did, if it, if you didn't enjoy it, and it bored the crap out of you. If uh, you know, just ignore it and just don't watch it again. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you found this hopefully interesting. <laughs> but I'm a geek, big nerd who swears a lot and drinks too much. So what would I know? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and keep on smelling fly. <laughs>